Hi guys, Chris from Loader here. It's been a while. Hope you're all alright. As part of N64 Month and my blog, loadera.co.uk, I'm taking my very first proper look at Super Mario 64. I never owned a 64 when I was younger, and I've mentioned this already on the blog, but I kind of missed out on the whole console. I had friends that owned them, and it would be, you know, a few matches of GoldenEye here, or maybe like play some wrestling games or something. I missed out on the big time-consuming platformers like this and Banjo-Kazooie, that kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to playing through this and seeing if I can make it anywhere close to the end by the end of the month. You can't argue with these 3D graphics. They're re they blew people's minds when it was first released and it still holds up now. They're really nice and colourful, full of character. Star of the show, Mario! I'm just going to cut to different sections of my playthrough rather than making you sit through the entire thing because I've been at it for a few hours now. And this was just kind of the introduction. So here I am, wandering around, lost. I have no idea what to do. My uh, my version of Mario 64 was cartridge only, pre-owned, so I don't have a manual or anything like that. I'm trying my best not to Google spoilers or walkthroughs or cheats or anything like that. I'm just trying to experience it as a new N64 owner would, like 20, 25 years ago, whatever it is now. All I can see is locked doors. <laughs> and I get a little bit frustrated with the jump in here as well. Why can I not break open this box? Is that not the whole point of Mario to like jump and hit boxes and break them open and get the coins? This was when I found the first like little mini boss. And he's just, he, he looks so funny. I just had to record this a little bit. What I found during this boss battle is that my controller uh, has had its analog stick replaced and it was really hindering trying to beat this boss. So you'll see I run round the back of him about six times trying to pick him up and I just can't do it. And that's the result. It was a struggle that went on for probably 40 minutes maybe until I switched to a second controller and kind of got the the hang of picking him up and throwing him around but I just needed to show you guys this one because that is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for coming, see you later. Then I found a secret door after I got my first star off that bomb thing. I got into there and listen to that music. This is the coolest thing ever. I have no idea what to do on that button. But this makes me want to dance around the games room, it's ridiculous. And then you've just got this slidey bit, this is, this is inspired. I think those mushroom things are one-ups, and I was gutted I missed it.
Those extra lives might come in handy towards the end. <laughs> it's so much fun. See there, you jump and the box opens. That's what that's how Mario works. But I really enjoyed that level, that was brilliant. A note to my Destiny Fire team here, this is the this is the Whisper of the Worm mission, I'm sure it is. I've seen these blocks come out before. And what the heck is that? It's like a mattress with a face. Back up the stairs again. Now I'm up to nine stars. And apparently I can open the shiny door. So we're going to do that. Oh, there's a princess. Oh, Bowser. And, ah. Oh. What is it with the boxes? Not funny. Every time I nearly fall off that ledge. Oh, well, yeah, that was good. I worked out later that that was some kind of switch you had to stand on, but obviously not in this room. Stages look really good. Even the backgrounds give the impression of being 3D. Still got a little bit of work to do on my Mario combat skills. Again, I'm gutted. Just extra lives are just there for the taking and I can't get to them. And then I found this sign. This worried me a little bit. I'm going to fight Bowser already. I'm sure Mario 64 is longer than this. There he is. How's the final boss showing up after like an hour and a half of gameplay? This can't be the end. Got the hang of the grabbing thing though. That bomb taught me well. Mario must have been at the gym before this. That's, that's crazy. Now we're going to skip ahead and... I got him! I got him!
There we go, it's not over. He showed up, he got beat, he lost out. And I got a shiny key! Not a bad way to end my first playthrough, I think. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching, and wish me luck for the next bit. Yes, I do want to save. And just for now, I'm gonna quit. I will see you guys next time.